Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Neela. The topic that we will deal today is CRISPR-Cas system. So this is an entirely different topic, a very new topic, a topic that has gained the interest uh, of most of the scientists of the world. A lot of research, a lot of funding is being done on this particular area of research. A lot of scientists are working on this. Why? You will gradually come to know when we move uh, uh, forward in this lecture. Okay. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. So CRISPR-Cas systems, right? So this CRISPR-Cas system, let us understand that when or why or from where actually this system comes from or what is the origin, where was it first of all found, okay? So this CRISPR-Cas system, that is a mouthful of name and when I get into the details, then you will find out that uh, this has a very long uh, name. So CRISPR-Cas system basically was first of all found in E. coli, okay? So in E. coli, it was seen this, that this CRISPR-Cas system was found. Now let us understand that what is CRISPR-Cas, okay? Let us uh, uh, elaborate upon this CRISPR-Cas. So CRISPR is clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats, a mouthful of name, right? So let us uh, uh, slowly read this particular uh, full form and then try to understand. Clustered, regularly interspaced. Now, when we say clustered, what does it mean? It means aggregated, okay? So, clustered, regularly interspaced. interspaced. This means that a particular segment of DNA is separated uh, to each other or a repeat. Basically, here it is written as short palindromic repeats. This means that these short palindromic repeats are uh, separated from each other with the help of a spacer, with the help of a spacer. Now let us understand this with the help of a diagram, okay? So suppose this is the DNA that we are talking about. This is the palindromic DNA that we are talking about. And what is the nature of this palindromic DNA? It is short. It is short and it is palindromic. What does palindromic mean? Let us first of all understand this. What does palindrome means? Let us take an example. Suppose we write madam, M-A-D-A-M. -A Okay, so one thing very peculiar, one thing very specific about this letter is if you read it from this side, it is M A D A M. Okay, and when you read it from this side, then also it is M A D A M. Okay, so whenever uh, on reading the from left to right or from right to left, it is the same word. It it. Uh, it is or it is the same word then it is called as palindromic segment sequence palindromic segment okay so these are these this and this and this are palindromic sequences this is dna mind it that this is double stranded dna that is present and this is palindromic that means whenever you read it from this side to this side or this side to this to this side it will read as the same so these are palindromic sequences and they are separated by the interspace or, or spacer DNA. So these are, these are spacer DNA and these, what are these? What are these? These are palindromic DNA, okay? That, that which means that clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic re repeats. That means which can we can uh, write it as the repeats. So these are the repeats and these are the spacer DNA that are separating these repeats, right? So this is basically the structure of CRISPR, okay? Now let us come to CAS. Just upstream the region of CRISPR, CAS region or CAS gene is present. What is the full form of CAS? CRISPR associated proteins. CAS means CRISPR associated proteins. Why does it mean so? Because this CRISPR gene codes for, uh, so, sorry, this, this CAS gene codes for CAS protein. CAS protein. We will go through this, uh, the function of CRISPR as well as CAS as we move forward into the lecture. Okay. So now we have understood the full form of CRISPR and CAS. Now let us move on. So, Basically CRISPR-R, that means the 
short palindromic repeats that we are talking about are 20 to 40 nucleotide in length and they keep on repeating and they are uh, they are separated with the help of these spacer regions spacer dna okay so this is very clear now come to the purpose why are they present inside the bacteria why are they present inside e coli so you might be knowing that uh, the bacteria are most of the times attacked with the viruses okay so the viruses that attack these bacteria or are, are called as bacteriophages or bacteriophage viruses okay so what do they do the virus particularly uh, comes and attaches onto the surface of a bacteria and what does it do is it inserts its genetic material inside the bacteria and this genetic material of the virus takes hold or it gets integrated to the bacterial genome and then what happens is it uh, completely takes over the machinery of the bacteria and it tries to make its own protein it tries to make those proteins which suits itself and in gradual course of time what happens is the bacteria dies and the virus multiplies and it comes out of the bacteria uh, and uh, kills the bacteria this is what happens right so bacteria is also now smart what does it do it has introduced a uh, a system which is called as a crispr cas system so what what does crispr cas system do it prevents whenever the whenever the virus inserts its uh, genetic material inside the uh, bacteria it prevents the virus to get uh, integrated in, into the genome of uh, uh, into the genome of the bacteria and it basically cleaves off the genetic material of the virus and therefore the virus dies now let us understand this that how does this happen okay first of all we will understand the function of crispr okay so we have said that crispr are these uh, these sequences that are separated by spacers so these sequences basically what do they do they are responsible for formation of an rna and what does what what property what unique property will this rna carry this rna will be complementary to the viral sequence okay let us understand this in detail suppose this is the virus this is the uh, genetic material of a virus this was a suppose this this was a virus and it had a genetic material inside it and it this genetic material this is a, suppose a bacteria and this virus has come in contact with the bacteria and it integrates or it sends its uh, genetic material inside the bacteria okay so this is the uh, genetic material of a virus let us understand this this is the genetic material of the virus now with the help of this crispr system what will happen is the crispr this crispr region will make our rna such that this rna would be complementary to this viral dna okay so this was the rna okay so this of course this uh, viral uh, this viral uh, sequence would be uh, definitely double stranded uh, what will happen is so this will are uh, this rna will form complementary uh, base pairing with the particular sequence with the particular vi viral uh, genetic material and then this this complete uh, complex would come in contact with what with the cas protein okay with the cas protein and what would be the function of a cas protein cas protein acts as a helicase as well as a nuclease okay so what is the function of nuclease it cleaves it cleaves the nucleic acid okay so when the nucleus would act upon nucleus would act specifically upon the dna right it won't act upon the rna this would be a unique feature of the cas cas nucleus functionality what will happen is whenever it will see the rna dna hybrid it will uh, specifically cleave only the dna portion this would be the dna portion this would be the viral dna portion it will definitely cleave this viral dna portion and the rna portion would be left out so if this rna if this dna portion of the virus would be cleaved then what will happen it won't be able to survive inside the host or the bacteria and it will die okay so this is basically the entire theory behind crispr cas system 
Now let us understand it in a different way. Okay. So let us understand this. The function of CRISPR, I have already told you that the function of CRISPR is uh, to form the particular RNA which would be complementary to the viral strand, to the virus genetic material which, uh, which will come inside the bacteria. And the function of CAS would be, again, this uh, CRISPR would be to form the RNA which will be complementary. Okay. The function of CAS, now coming to the function of CAS, what would be the function of CAS? It would function as an endo nuclease it would function it, it would function as an endonuclease as well as helicase okay now I, i'll tell you that how this functions as a helicase this is the exact drawing that how uh, things go on with the help with the crispr cas system okay so let us understand this suppose this is the viral DNA the black in the black whatever uh, I have shown is this is the viral DNA okay it has come inside the bacteria as I've already told you this actually this would be double stranded and in these in the between these two strands this RNA the red one would be the RNA strand okay I've already shown it here this the red one would be the RNA strand formed from the CRISPR uh, system and this these two these two the the, the segments in the black are uh, basically the dna strands let me show it in a better way i have shown these two strands far apart because of the helicase activity of the CAS system because of the helicase activity. What does helicase mean? It will separate the two strands. It would break the bonding between the two strands and two strands of DNA would separate out. And when the two strands of DNA would separate out, this is the strand one, this is strand two of DNA of course. And uh, when this occurs, what will happen is the RNA would step in. The RNA from where? The RNA from the this, the RNA from CRISPR system would come in contact with one of these strands. Now what will happen? Com due to complementar complementarity, this will form bonds between, bonds with one of the strands, okay? Now, because of uh, the bonding and because of this, uh, uh, the, uh, the nucleus, endonuclease functionality of Cas proteins, it will cleave the DNA segment. This is the DNA segment of particular virus. It won't affect RNA because it will specifically cleave the DNA material of the virus. Okay. Now you would be seeing uh, this, the labeling as CRRNA. What is CRRNA? CR is CRISPR RNA. CRISPR RNA. By CR RNA, we mean CRISPR RNA. Okay. So you, you, you might also be seeing that there are other features also marked on the black on the board. This is the tracer RNA. What is the functionality of tracer RNA? It binds with the CRISPR RNA and locates, guides basically, locates or guides the CRISPR RNA to the particular position where it has to bind with the viral DNA. Okay. So this tracer RNA and the CRISPR RNA form a hybrid. You, you might be able to see here that this is a hybrid form. They are joined together. Okay. So the hybrid between tracer RNA and CRISPR RNA is called as guide RNA. So this is a very important question. It has been asked multiple times that what is the function of guide RNA? Tracer RNA plus CRISPR RNA forms the guide RNA. It is used to locate and bind to the particular viral segment, viral, uh, uh, viral nucleic acid or viral segment, then a genetic content that has come inside the bacteria, right? So uh, when this happens, then this cleavage will take place or the black, this black thing would get cleaved. This black thing would get cleaved. Let me show it in a different color. After this, what will happen? As I have already told you, this black line would get cleaved. Okay. So this black uh, uh, segment of uh, DNA would get cleaved and the virus 
will not be able to affect or will not be able to destroy the bacteria. This will uh, happen. Okay. So now this was all about the CRISPR-Cas original systems. And this uh, everything about this CRISPR-Cas basically was discovered by the labs of Jennifer Dodna who works in Berkeley and uh, Emmanuel Charpentier who is a French, uh, French uh, professor. So this was done in their laboratories. Now they are also working on genome editing. How to use this CRISPR-Cas system for genome editing. Now if you realize the utility, this is a very simple basic feature. If you just uh, try to change the CR RNA, that is the CRISPR RNA and change the tracer RNA, what will you be able to do? You will be able to do our multiple things and enormous research opportunity will open to you. Whenever you will change the CRISPR RNA and tracer RNA, you can change it according to your need. If you want to cleave, a, but suppose you want to cleave this you want to cleave this uh, DNA material, you want to cleave this DNA, what do you have to do? You just have to change this CRISPR RNA according to this and tracer RNA also. What will happen if you change according to this, this will get cleaved. Okay, so you can edit the genome of human beings. Suppose a person is suffering from cystic fibrosis. Okay, and a particular length of the DNA is responsible for this cystic fibrosis. What will you do? You will just uh, form or you will just make, uh, suppose this is the fragment, this is the segment of the DNA that is responsible for cystic fibrosis. What will you do? You will form a CRISPR RNA corresponding to this fragment and also uh, another thing that you will do is you will also introduce the host, host DNA which means the correct copy. Basically, you want to insert the correct copy also. So in general, what happens? In general, there are two components. CRISPR RNA. Sorry, in, in general, there are CRISPR RNA. This is the second tracer RNA. And third one is the CAS. But if you want to edit the genome or you want to add your particular uh, specific piece of DNA, then you will have to add a fourth portion. That would be host DNA. When you add this host DNA, then what will happen is your particular RNA will bind with this segment, this cystic fibrosis segment and what will happen is this, this would get cleaved, this black portion or the viral DNA or the uh, problematic DNA would get cleaved and then what will happen is suppose this is the correct copy of the DNA, this would get attached to the original DNA copy, right? Okay, so this basic portion was replaced by this correct copy. Okay, so this would lead to the correctness of the disease or the disease would now no longer be present inside the body. So this can be basically used to treat a number of diseases, CRISPR-Cas can be used to treat a number of diseases okay so now uh, uh, one thing comes in mind that how can one be sure or how does this system ensure that the region or the uh, segment that it is cleaving is the viral segment only why doesn't it cleave the bacterial segment so the answer to this is the viral region contains proto spacer adjacent motifs or PAMs proto spacer adjacent motifs these are uh, peculiar or specific fragments specific markers that are present on the viral dna and this uh, basically separates the viral dna with the bacterial dna and that is why the bacterial dna is saved and it is not cleaved and only the viral dna portion is cleaved okay so this basically was the entire genome editing that how can genome editing take place with the help of CRISPR-Cas and what exactly is CRISPR-Cas in its basic sense, uh, how is it used by the bacteria or E. coli to prevent invasion by viruses. So this was a complete overview of uh, CRISPR-Cas and its uh, use in genome editing. If you have any queries then you can ask in the comment box and if you like my lecture then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.